Hello and welcome to the first episode of the Sam and Nana show. I'm Sam, this is my grandmother, and we are here, we're going to talk about our um, worst medical experiences, of, of which we both have quite a few. I, I was a sickly child. I'm, I'm turning into something of a sickly adult, um, and a I... A healthy sickly adult. I don't... I'm not, like, athletic. I can't do a lot of things with my body. But you do the important things. What are the important things? Like, getting... walking? Eating. Eating. Well, I mean, if I don't do that, I'm gonna die. Yeah. Well, that's why it's important. Well, I mean, yeah, but I, if not dying is your standard for health... Well, Exercise yes. is completely overrated. See? And, 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 yeah. I think you're very wise to avoid it for the most part. Except for things like walking. I mean, I think, well, look at all the things they're finding out now. Football. Crazy. Well, I mean, I'm Destroys just, your brain. I was never going to play football. Destroys your joints. In college, we had to take physical education, and I very unfortunately one time chose badminton because I had to qualify, you know, get through a certain number of points for my, to graduate. And um, I finally, uh, well, I went to class, my... Threw the thing up sure. because with a bad, that's, it's that's like doesn't even bounce. You can't even bounce. Well, it. You yeah. throw it up, and then you have to connect it with your racket. Yeah, I, yeah. But by the time I would do this, <laughs> the thing had fallen. So that's I never ever ever connected the racket maybe, with the badminton. Fortunately, I had an uncle Harry, who was okay. a doctor. I don't he like. Was, is that fortunate or? just like obvious. I would be surprised <laughs> if I didn't have a relative named Harry who is a doctor. I got out of badminton. Wow. And I got out of That's my like, never so requirements. What what diagnosis did he give you? A pollen idol. <laughs> <laughs> Which I <laughs> A pollen idol cyst is something that is like exists where where the human tailbone is and sometimes people they form a cyst there and it can contain teeth and hair it's like almost like another person might be growing oh and my god yes. yeah. but anyway my do, do i have do i have a another grandma <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps, As a secret, does, does she live in the attic? It got me abandoned, okay. so I'm okay with it. And they decided I didn't really need mine removed. And oh, it has not so you the best of both worlds. Yes, you got Maybe out of badminton, and you got to keep your friend. My pollen idol sis. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know if I'd call it a friend. <laughs> you know, I was actually a fairly healthy person, yeah. so. I didn't have a lot of oh, medical sorry, issues. Sorry, sorry. I think I created my own because <laughs> I'm a little neurotic. Aren't we all? What What was your worst medical experience? Oh my god! Yeah. <sighs> Deep breath. In my late forties, fifties, I was having sinus issues. Obviously, now I look back and I know it was allergies, um, but um, I. They were giving me problems, so I, I I went to see Dr. Ford at the UW, and he did this unpleasant uh, procedure where they put a, a you know thing up your nose. That and sounds great to me. It does. Yeah. So I went in, had a surgery. It was a it was a horrible horrible surgery afterwards. It's 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 a minor surgery but it didn't feel that way anyway i recovered and it was okay for a while and then i started feeling like i had something in my nose and um so i went back to him and they said i feel like if something doesn't feel right he went back up there with that the you know the the thing yeah. the, the scope 
nothing in there. Everything looks great. So anyway, make a long story short. It, there was something in there and it was not great. Five and a half years later, I had an attack of dizziness. Ooh, way to go. Yes, terrible. I was so, I went to the emergency room. They said, nothing wrong that we can find. Go home. They gave me some meds. I know I was eating meds. Two days later, I was at work. I was feeling fine. I started sneezing. Uh -oh. Couldn't stop sneezing. And I had this big sneezing attack. And all of a sudden, I feel like, oh, my God. Started sneezing. Something whatever was coming out was not your normal mm -hmm. nasal excretions. This thing came out of my nose about, you know, maybe an inch and a half. And it was clearly not human matter. It was like a pledget, like a thing they might put in this packing. So I went running down the hall at work where my daughter also worked, your mother. My, I yes. I said, guess what just came out of my nose? <laughs> so we sent it to the lab and they discovered that it was plant matter like cotton. They just said it was mm. not human matter, with, but it was consistent with like a cotton packing. Okay. And... um. Anyway, the doctor, and make a long story short, the doctor denied it all. I heard through the grapevine, and aka my sister, that um, the doctors think I put it up my nose myself. Ooh, Blame the victim. And... Blame the Whoa. victim. But I was quite happy when it came out because I thought, okay, this is the end of my problems, my infections and all. And I came home and, you know, talked to my partner, my significant other, and he said, yes, if it all came out. What was your worst medical experience? Ian? I'm glad you asked, Nana. <laughs> Recently, um, I was hospitalized. I was somehow infected with a virus that almost exclusively affects children ages zero to two, which I think says a lot about my immune system. On the first day I was there, they had to make sure I didn't have meningitis. Um, so they, yeah, I had, I had to have a spinal tap, which isn't as fun as the movie. Although I do have to say the CAT scan was great. They laid me down on this bed and they just kind of, they just slowly eased me into the machine, you know, whatever, x-ray, whatever is looking at my brain. And they're kind of moving me around to get all the angles and I felt like I was in the ocean. Oh, wow. It was very calming mm. and I could, I could have slept there. Yeah. Yeah. But no. But you don't want to sleep with radiation coming at you. I you mean, no. Fall too far. You know, too much time. Don't you? In the you don't game. no. Yeah. No, you don't want too much radiation right. going directly to your brain. As a general rule. Yeah. I think. And and the thing is, you were very healthy the entire year. You didn't even get that's a true. Cold. You that didn't is even true. Get, I was yeah. I, I was I don't know, maybe I like jinxed myself because I would think like, wow, like maybe I'm becoming help maybe I'm leaving my days as, you know, a bedridden feeble <laughs> child <laughs> in in the past. Maybe yes. maybe in the you know, I'm gonna be this strong, you know, yeah. healthy person who, you know. Well, Proust wouldn't have gotten remembrance of things past. That's true. And written if he hadn't been sickly. So, that is true. Yeah, and so Pascal, yeah. too, uh -huh. was a sickly child. Yeah. So, so watch out, Proust. We're expecting big things. Do you 
have anything else you'd like to add? Oh, maybe we should take a station break. A station break? <laughs> uh, well, this has been a great episode of the Sam and Nana <laughs> show. Sam. Nana. Thank you for watching. <laughs>